What better example today, everybody, does South Texas show a combination of education and business and industry than the Power Up Pilot Plan? I mean, this is just great. This is what helps us when we go to Austin, sell the area, sell education, and sell business and industry. It also sends one great message for South Texas, and that is education, business, industry, work as a team. Delmar, Power Up, the funding partners, you're not only setting an example for Nueces and San Patricio and Aransas, Calhoun, Clayburg counties, you're setting the goal for the rest of the state. So I'm proud to be the state representative, not only of Del Mar College, but I'm proud to be a state representative in South Texas who can send the message why Texas is number one. These are specific investment dollars that we know have a specific need for our economy with the challenges that we have with workforce, and we're making it happen. This isn't just a broad brush and betting on the come and let's see, maybe we can get a few of engineers, get a few more nurses, get a few more. No, this is about identifying, being strategic, and investing the money of 1.39 million and 32 cents <laughs> for watching your money and just making sure that we yield a great return and we harvest in this wonderful economy that we're in. So thank you to Del Mar College for your leadership. Uh, as a, an, a former student and alumni, I can't thank you all for the investment that you make into academia, into workforce, and truly being one of our economic engines in educating our workforce. Thank you, Todd Hunter. I tell you, our chairman has been tremendous, strong leader in workforce. And if you really want to try to get some things up in the Capitol done, he's the man. He's very humble about this, but he's the man you have to go see. And so I thank you very much for your leadership and all thank you for investing in one, I think, one of the best crops of harvest we are having. Our best days are yet to come. Thank you. For the individuals that live in this area, you're blessed because you have a set of leaders that are forward thinking, that are working and seeing what needs to happen not only tomorrow but 10 years from now. And that is very unusual in this country today. You have folks that are out there working for each and every one of you, and this education project is just one example of that. For Chenier Energy, it is very important that we have well-trained individuals. It is the base of safety in our process, is the individuals that are working in our facility. This foundation that will be provided by Del Mar and by the local high schools. So we are extremely happy to be involved with this project. And uh, we see a lot, of, a lot of great days ahead for the project. We want to be part of the community, and we are trying to demonstrate that through our participation here. And we see that uh, as we move forward, that we will be able to hire then folks that have grown in the area, that have grown up in the area and want to stay in the area and be uh, a part of our, our company and a part of the Coastal Bend area. My name is Leslie Lehman, and I'm currently in the Process Technology and Instrumentation Program here at Del Mar. I expect to graduate in the spring of 2015. I chose a petrochemical field because it's rapidly expanding, offering a wide range of opportunities. With current plants expanding and new plants underway, this field is quickly taking over the coastal bend. This growth has caused an increase in inquiry and enrollment in the Process Technology and Instrumentation Program here at Del Mar. Currently, our resources are limited to textbooks, lectures, and models. However, today we are gathered here to celebrate the new beginning. This pilot plant will allow students to gain hands-on knowledge that we currently do not have. Many students, like myself, do not have prior experience in this industry. This pilot plant will give us a realistic idea of what we can expect when we enter our field as operators. On behalf of the Del Mar, Pol Del Mar Process Technology and Instrumentation Program, we would like to thank everyone for their contributions in making this possible. Not only offering us hands-on learning and knowledge, but the confidence to enter our fields efficiently and effectively. Thank you.